We are diving into the latest update to Avolite's Titan software version 16. V16 comes with a long list of updates and additions, but there are two major ones we want to highlight. Freeform layouts and the brand new tracking view. So let's get right to it. What you're looking at here is a pretty straightforward busking show file set up in Avolite's Titan. We've got some pointies and spiders over stage and a few JDC ones in the back. Previously in Titan, there wasn't a straightforward way to select individual fixtures other than flipping into your fixtures window and having arranged each fixture around in a way that made sense to you. Freeform Layout solves that problem with a magic sheet type for EOS users or layout view for MA programmers type tool. Once you have upgraded to V16, you'll be able to get into the layout view by opening a new workspace window. Also, you will see there is a layouts window in the handle section. Use this to switch between different layout views and create new ones. Creating a new layout is simple. Select the fixtures you want to include and double tap an unrecorded layout handle. Tap the recorded handle and it will open up in the layout view window. You can drag and drop the fixtures around or use the wheels to dial in a more fine location. By default, all of the elements snap to the grid, but you can turn that off and adjust other options in the context menu. All right, fast forward and you've arranged your fixtures. Now let's look at what you actually see in the layout view. Each fixture will be a square with its fixture ID in the top left corner and intensity level below. Additionally, inside the square will be what Avolites has coined a mimic, basically showing you the color and gobo if the fixture is on. In your fixtures window, if you have a halo color assigned to a fixture, that halo color will appear in the layout view too. If it's white, then it's selected. So not only is this view great for seeing what is going on with your fixtures at any given moment, it is also a quick and powerful fixture selection tool. Here is something awesome. Let's say, like we are here, you're taking advantage of Capture and Titan, and your fixtures are already arranged in the visualizer. When arranging your layout view, open the context menu and select the Arrange options, and choose From Capture. This will automatically place the fixtures in a top-down layout for you. Boom! Layout views in Titan. Finally, we asked and they listened, and I'm pumped. There is much more to dive into with layout views, and we break it down on our website and app. But for now, let's jump into the new tracking view. Tracking view is a window that displays the value of individual fixtures attributes in a queue list and lets you edit them. There are two ways to get to the tracking information of a queue list. If you open up the queue list, like the one we have down here, and go to the context menu, you will see a new view tracking button that will open up the tracking view. Alternatively, you can open a new workspace window and choose Tracking View and make sure that it is in Connected Queue List Mode via the context menu, and whichever queue list you connect will automatically populate the window. Each column shows the value of each parameter in every fixture recorded in the queue list. By default, if a queue is referencing a palette, you will see the palette's legend in the cell. This makes it easy to spot hard values. And this is a lot of info, so you can filter it down by fixture type and parameter group using the icons on the top left corner. The color of the value indicates whether the data in the queue is being tracked or new information. Even when something like a gobo legend is in the cell, the border will change accordingly. Cyan represents increasing values in the queue, and green represents decreasing values. If the data is being tracked, it will be magenta. If there's a block program, it will be red and hard data that is redundant or has no change is white. An example of redundant data would be here when we filter down to only intensity data. We can see we have some hard data in Q4 for fixtures 21 through 23. We can easily resolve this by selecting the white cells and choosing delete redundant which will revert it to track information. When you select a cell, you have a few more advanced options here. This is where you could add a block to a queue. Do that by selecting the tracking options and choosing block. The cell should turn red. You could also delete information accidentally included in the queue by selecting the cell and choosing off. And these new features are great. V16 of Titan includes more updates and improvements. And if you want to learn about them, head to our website or app using the links below to check out even more videos and details from the new Titan software release. Thanks for plugging in with Limelight Wired.